Welcome to verifying a set of solutions forms a fundamental set. So recall uh, to check that y1 through yn form a fundamental set. of solutions uh, all we need to do is check that the run scheme um, uh, so we just need to check the run scheme which is the determinant of the matrix where each column is one of our solution vectors. So the matrix with first column y1, your last column yn. The determinant of that matrix uh, is non-zero somewhere. So this is the advantage over previous versions and that we do not need to take any derivatives. Um, so let's consider the system y prime is equal to the matrix first row one, one, negative two, second row negative two, negative three, two, third row one, negative two, two, and then all times y. Verify that the following solutions form a fundamental set. So solution y1 is the vector zero, two, one times e to the negative two. Y2 is the vector negative 5, 6, 17 times e to the t cosine of 2t plus the vector negative 14, 10, 0 times e to the t sine of 2t. And Y3 is uh, the vector negative 14, 10, 0 times e to the t cosine of 2t plus the vector 5, negative 6, 0 times e to the t sine of 2t. So we are going to check the run scheme um, at zero. Our A of T is continuous everywhere. So we can check at any point. We'll check the run scheme at zero. So at T equals zero. Um, so note, Y1 of zero is just the vector zero, two, one. Y2 of zero, um, that sine component will go to zero. So we just get the cosine component and we wind up with a vector negative five, six, 17. And y3 of zero, oops. y3 of zero, again, the sine component goes to zero, so, and cosine goes to one, so we'll just have negative 14, 10, zero. So we have the runs in, at a zero is just the determinant of, we put y1 in our first column, zero, two, one. y2 in our second column, negative five, six, 17. y3 in our third column, negative 14, 10, and zero. Then we can go about just taking this determinant. Uh, I'm gonna do the method where I just copy that first and second column. So we've got zero, two, one, negative five, six, 17, copy to the right. Can we add on the four diagonals? We subtract on the backwards diagonals. Mama. 
We subtract on the backwards diagonals. Looking at the forward diagonals, that first forward diagonal would be just plus zero. Then we have negative five times 10 times one. So we're going to add on a negative 50. Then we have negative 14 times two times 17, which if we do that math, we wind up with negative uh, 476. So plus negative 476. On the backwards diagonal, we have minus negative 14 times 6. So we're subtracting uh, off a negative 84. And then we subtract off zero and subtract off another zero. So we are looking at negative 50 plus negative 476 plus 84. And we wind up with a negative 442, which is definitely not equal to zero. So in this case, since our run scan is non-zero somewhere, then we get that y1 through yn from y1 through y3 from a fundamental sub. Um, if you're not told you are originally starting with solutions, then you would first need to verify that you actually have solutions and then check the round scheme. In this case, I was, we were told they were solutions, so we could skip that first step. All right, in the next videos, we will learn how we can actually go about solving for this fundamental set of solutions, not just verifying it is a fundamental set.